Uh, an individual has osteoarthritis, the initial treatment protocol would be medication, anti-inflammatories, or injections. If that's unsuccessful, um, there are hyaluronic injections that sometimes help for a short period of time. If not, then we advance on to recommending surgical intervention and total knee replacement. Uh, this is a knee replacement. You're looking at the knee on end in front. Uh, this is the kneecap or the patella. Uh, an incision is in the front part of the knee, usually front aspect of the knee, sort of down the midline, the center of the knee. It's usually about four to eight inches long, depending upon the size of the patient's knee. Uh, the knee replacement itself replaces the undersurface of the kneecap with a plastic uh, type prosthesis. The end of the thigh bone is replaced here, as you see, with a cobalt chrome uh, uh, type of component. Uh, the tibia component has plastic on top uh, and then uh, titanium on the bottom. And so you have a tibial component that uh, articulates with the uh, thigh bone or femoral component and then the undersurface of the kneecap, which articulates with the thigh bone. The surgery uh, has advanced uh, quite a lot in the last few years where it's fairly straightforward. It takes anywhere from an hour to hour and a half. The patients are able to walk the day of surgery. The hospital stay is short, usually two to three days. After a short period of time of rehab, they're able to drive at two weeks and then advance on to a physical therapy program for up to two to three months. I think that's when I'm most satisfied, when uh, after I've completed a total knee or total hip replacement, we're now two to three months down, the patient is back to all their activities, are doing well, and it's like, oh my God, doctor, I should have been in here five years ago. Um, fortunately, I guess, uh, our surgeries have been successful and our patients do quite well, and I would say more than 50 to 75 percent of the time, I get that type of reaction for my patients, and certainly from my standpoint as the surgeon, uh, it's very rewarding.